everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to share some of my recent Amazon purchases within the past two or three months and just let you know if it was worth the money or if it's something that I should have passed on but spoiler I'm just gonna say I think everything I bought I actually liked besides maybe one thing but anyways let's get started I had bought this back I think in April I had gone on a birthday trip at the end of April and maybe I am a little high maintenance but I do like to do my makeup and stuff and with going to a hotel or we had stayed in this cute little condo when I do my makeup I like to be up in the mirror I do my makeup with this mirror from Target Although I should have returned this. I ordered this online like a couple months ago. I think I shared it in a video. But it came like all rusted. But I just didn't care to be bothered. But it, I like it though because it has like this little detail. Which apparently just makes it special. Because most mirrors are just like this. But this was speaking to me you know. So anyways though this is pretty heavy to pack in a suitcase. And then take with you on an airplane. I wanted something that... I wouldn't have to hold but it would stand up on its own and this little travel mirror is literally the most perfect thing ever I put this in my carry-on so you don't even have to worry about the weight in the suitcase and honestly it's very light like I would say less than a pound and also I'm gonna link everything below if it's still available in case you guys want to check it out but this is like a travel must-have so if any of you have watched my jewelry collection video I mentioned how anymore like when I buy earrings I really just hate the backs that come with them so I had bought I think there was actually three pairs but I don't I didn't feel like digging out the other pair I just bought these regular gold earring backs here honestly they're pretty good quality so far I don't really have an opinion on them but they are what I wanted they fit on my earrings I don't want y'all to judge me I do go to the gym I try to go every day but I am a cardio type of bitch I just get very like nervous I mean I get like nervous walking into the gym like and I really don't know what I'm doing anyways if I'm just being honest I feel uncomfortable like I go by myself I think if I had a friend to go with and I did things with the friend and I got to the point where like, I knew what I was doing that I would do it on my own because that's how it pretty much started when I first went to the gym I went with my best friend and roommate in college but once I learned you know okay this is how you work a treadmill and get on an elliptical I'm like okay I think I have this on my own so I started going by myself I just need a friend I would never want to ask a random stranger or like a gym employee so yeah that being said I do lift eight pound weights at home I, w I went from five to eight guys so that was a pretty big improvement i might look dressed from the top up in my videos but i'm never actually dressed i got this in the mail yesterday and i used it today what is this even called but basically it's just this um weight here what's cool about this though is that this all comes apart and you can make this actually be two dumbbells if you undo both sides so there's more of these little clamp things so you can put one on the other side or you can put another weight on the other side and then this is one dumbbell and then the other one you can just undo on the other side. You can get like different types of weights pretty much out of one thing. You can also change out this and put like this straight one on it and I'm really happy with it so far. I want to just start off light. I don't know putting it on my shoulders. Can I actually lift more than two pounds? I don't know. I feel like this is a good beginner type of thing to do next i'm gonna put this together real quick i bought a backdrop and the sand it basically comes in three different parts so there's the bar that goes across the top and then there's two of these side stands so you open the bottom piece here it's like a tripod pretty much i think these are great especially for a party or a baby shower i saw a lot of people were using these for a photo booth type of thing and this can go up to be 10 feet long I used it a couple times in my videos, so it has the length and then you can make it taller. I'm just going to put it high enough so you guys can still see it. And then it does have the clamps on top. This actually doesn't come with a backdrop. I ended up buying just a plain white backdrop. I have to kind of be careful with because it's not that big. I think it's like five, 5 by 7 maybe? I'm not sure. Clip this on. It's looking a little rough right now, guys. I don't have it perfectly set up. This brings me into my next Amazon purchase. Being a fashion major in college, you would think that I would have bought one of these, but I didn't. I used an iron, and I surprisingly ironed like every single day because I was obsessed with making sure like my outfit had no wrinkles and I wanted to look cute because I wanted to be the cutest fashion student there was. 
And I'm not gonna say I succeeded, but I possibly might have. I'm kidding. But I bought this steamer. I bought it like the perfect time because this backdrop, as you can see, there are some wrinkles in it. I've had it folded now. I've never owned one, so I don't really know if this is the best. But it's worked pretty good so far. It has two different little things that can go on the front of it. This is a lint one, maybe. You can just go crazy with steaming. look how freaking nice that is okay so that is pretty much all of the home stuff that i bought and now i bought a couple things for my car because i love my car it's my first car and maui is just the cutest jeep out there i don't care nobody can say anything i came across this girl's video on tiktok i think she was just filming herself in her car i noticed like she had these beautiful seat covers they were like this bubblegum pink it had like a crown on it and i thought it was so cute i looked it up they were a little bit pricey i mean honestly for seat covers like they really aren't but for my budget at the time i'm like i don't really want to spend 150 dollars on seat covers but one thing that was starting to bother me about my car especially with it being the summertime now is the lotion and stuff from my legs transfers onto my seat and then it looks very weird you can wipe it off obviously with a wet towel but i didn't like it because i feel like over time it's gonna just ruin it finally decided back i think when prime day was had a little bit of a sale it wasn't anything too crazy maybe like 30 dollars off i bought them i got them I put them in my car and I returned them. I guess I was like the only person that was having this problem. They just weren't fitting correctly in my car. The crown that I thought was so beautiful, it was, but it dug into my back and like nobody else was saying the things that I felt about this. So I feel like, I don't know, maybe I just am psycho. But that was my first pair of seat covers. And I decided on my next car seat covers, which they've been good so far. My only complaint about them, the sides where they have like these little rhinestones, unless you can fit in specifically the part of the seat, it kind of digs into your leg. So I like have to remind myself to like move my butt off of it otherwise i'm like i don't want to have the imprint of it when i get out and go wherever other than that i really do like them they're easy to install i feel like they're really pretty here is the car seat cover and then this is what i was talking about like i mean my legs can fit right here i think it's really pretty though i like it i think it's cute that set didn't come with anything for my back seat which Honestly, I don't think I've ever even had anyone sit in my back seat other than myself like when I'm cleaning my car The main reason I wanted something because I have a tendency when I go out shopping I like to just put the stuff in the back like for safety reasons. I'm trying to like not be In a dark parking lot putting stuff into my trunk Like I'm trying to throw my bags in and get up out of here either doing that or putting like Amazon packages in my back seat. I didn't want it to rip my seats or leave any like serious marks on them so what i really wanted to buy and i bought is basically meant for a dog <laughs> or animals i mean i don't really have backseat passengers and if i do there are spots for the seat belt to come through so someone can still sit on it and buckle up this is my dog seat cover as you can see seat belt through it just goes over your headrest here on each side and honestly i love it so since i might be a little bougie this actually came up because I was looking at those covers, things purchased together or like something that you might be interested in. And I'm like, you know what, maybe I do need that. This is not a necessary purchase at all. I don't think it, you really don't need it. If I'm being honest, it's really more for the aesthetic look, these seatbelt covers. Yeah, I don't think they're necessary. <laughs> I just, I like the look of them. Bought these seatbelt covers. This is Velcro, it goes around the back. That did come in a set of four. Put it on, obviously, the front two and then in the back as well. This car mirror was going very viral and I still see it pop up occasionally. It's just like a vanity mirror that lights up. And honestly, I would say that this was one of my better purchases. Happy with this though, it has a USB to charge it and honestly, you could just do it in your car if you have like the port for it. You can just change the settings. You can make it that bright, just that one. So I love it. I think it's such a nice size. Like it's almost the size of my regular visor. You can put it up a little bit if you don't want it to be down in your face. So those are some of my recent purchases from Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.